If I try to run trigger rally, I get the error message fizzfs failed to initialize, and I think it has to do with libfizzfs, because if I rename this, it becomes a different error. The code execution cannot proceed because libfizzfs was not found. What I think I have to do is to build fizzfs. Unfortunately, they don't provide Windows builds, but that's okay. They do provide source code here on the fizzfs website. And the latest source version is uh, 302 today. Let's get that. So I'm going to extract that. That might be the first challenge. I'm using 7-zip. I highly recommend 7-zip. And then I have to do it twice, unfortunately, because usability is not... Windows usability is not their concern. But that's fine. Well, nearly. We also need Visual Studio. And I'm going to just select Open a Local Folder. This is the Community Edition, by the way, the free one. I'm going to open the FizzFS folder the one that contains docs and source and etc. The main thing here really is the CMake file, which it already found and is already um, preparing, generating. So we only have x64 debug as an option for some reason. Don't know why. Whatever, let's just build it. Build all. And it's already done. Build all succeeded. Here in out, when build in x64 debug, there is a DLL file called fizzfs DLL. So I'm going to copy that, paste it in here. That does not fix it yet. Luckily, all we have to do is to let's rename this old fizzfs lib fizzfs file and rename fizzfs DLL, which I just built, to lib fizzfs DLL. And now it is working. Yep, that's how you build FizzFS on Windows with Visual Studio. Hope that helped. Let me know if you need help with anything else. Till next time, ciao! That's right.